the brain science behind why students forget 70% of what they study. So let me explain this with the mind map. Medical students have memory challenges, unveiling the depths. So whatever a medical student is studying, he can, he or she can only remember the tip of the iceberg. They are not able to remember everything they study. There is neuroscience of memory and brain memory formation impacts learning. The traditional study methods, which are ineffective methods, hinder knowledge retention. So that is the reason you can't remember what you study. And mind mapping is an excellent approach that I use that helps me a lot in remembering the complex medical concepts. So let me explain that with an example. Imagine Sara is a bright, dedicated medical student, hunched over her desk, surrounded by textbooks and notes. She is studying cardiology for eight hours, meticulously reading and highlighting passages about heart failure. So she has decided to pass her step one exam or AMC MCQ exam or any theory exam. But the next day, when she tries to recall the key difference between systolic and diastolic heart failure, her mind draws a blank. Frustration mounts in. How can I forget so much after studying so hard? She wonders. You will be the same because you are using the old traditional ways of studying. Let me introduce the mind maps and how to create them. So if you look at the screen, creating effective mind maps is done by having a central topic. You add some branches to each topic. Then you add keywords and images. Then you connect all the ideas and then you use colors and symbols. This is a way you create a mind map or dissect a medical topic and make it into small chunks so your brain can remember, recollect and retain that information. Traditional learning will not do this. So let's see why mind mapping, a visual tool for organizing and connecting ideas is important because it enhances memory, it improves understanding, it increases creativity, and it gives greater engagement. So this is the reason why mind mapping is the tool you need to follow, not Anki, nothing. So I used mind maps to pass all my medical exams, my fellowship exams. So what I have an offer is I created a book with mind maps and you can actually get that with by clicking the link under this video. So when you click the link, you will see the mind maps book that has got history taking mind maps, examination mind maps and um, mnemonics mind maps where I put complex medical topics into a mnemonic so you can easily remember that and all the differentials of each symptom, let's say if it's a case of atrial fibrillation, all the differentials, all the causes you need to remember. So I put all these into mind maps and I'm giving away to help 100,000 medical students pass their exams and be good clinicians. I want you to study medicine in half the time, but remember twice as much. So I have a special offer for you. If you would like to get the mind maps, stop creating mind maps. I have done all the dirty work for you. So you save time and go pass your clinical exams or theory exams with the mind maps. I wish you all the best and I will see you in the